Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. Today is video three in our How to Start Planning Your Life series. And in today's video, I wanted to dive into the different reasons why you might need a planner. I mentioned in yesterday's video that the best way to be consistent with your planner is to know why you need it. So today I wanted to talk about the different reasons reasons why you may need your planner and how you can plan in it. Okay, so there are different ways that you can functionally plan in a planner. I want to talk about four different ways that you can use different styles of planners in order to manage your life. Now, as a side note, I do want to mention that I am going to be sharing all of these tips from my happy planner. However, you do not have to have a happy planner in order for these tips to work for you. You can use any style of planner that you choose and these same tips will work for anything that you choose for 2021. So the very first reason that you may need a functional planner is for your schedule. Now this is the most obvious tip because most people do realize that in order to manage their schedule they will need some type of planner. This is the main reason why most people do use a paper planner. When it comes down to managing your schedule though, I do believe that an hourly planner is the best way to stay on top of your schedule. So what I like to do is assign specific time frames that I'm going to be working in a particular area of my life. I will schedule out my wait time. I will schedule out my AM routine, the time that I am working on my business stuff, the time that I am working on my budget or I'm filming, and I will lay everything Thing out according to time and this is the best way that I won't over schedule my day. So if you are using a planner for your particular schedule in order to stay on top of time and time block or time manage your day, I do recommend going with an hourly planner. Now, if your day is a free flow type day, meaning that it doesn't matter what specific time you get certain tasks done, as long as you get everything done and you have more flexibility throughout your day, then you may not want to use a time-based planner. And your why of why you may need need your planner may be a different number on this list. So let's go to the second reason why you may need a planner. The second reason why you may need a planner is to actually have a really long to-do list. So let's say you do have a bunch of things that you need to do. However, it is not allocated by a specific time. If that's the case, then you may want to use a vertical style or a dashboard style planner. I use this particular style for my business planner and my business planner is a dashboard style planner. And with this one, it's one really big to-do list. I have broken it down into sections. As you can see, I have a to-do section, a filming section, my YouTube videos that are going up, Patreon, my content for the week, and then any other additional to-dos, I will just allocate it on the different days of the week. I use this particular style with my business because it serves as one big brain dump for me. With my catch-all, I am mainly looking at my schedule in which I have to be in specific places at specific times. That is why I keep it as an hourly planner. However, if you are using your particular planner as a brain dump or a place where you can kind of just download all your information on paper, then you may want to use more of a list making type planner like the vertical style planner or the dashboard planner. But the reason why knowing how you're going to use your planner is so big is because if you pick a dashboard or a vertical style planner and then you are trying to assign time to it, you may feel like this doesn't work for you or vice versa. If you are trying to list out all of these different things and brain dump and clear your head, but you're using an hourly planner planner, then that may not work for you. So knowing the reason why you need this planner, how it's going to serve best to you is the best way to think this through. 
I've also used a dashboard and a vertical style planner for my home planner because that's another area of my life where it is more of a list making process than it is specific to do's at specific time frames. So the very first reason why you may need your planner is to track your schedule. The second reason why you may need a planner is to write down all of your to-dos. Now let's go into the third reason why you may need a planner. You may need a paper planner to keep track of different things. So I like to do something called backtracking. And backtracking is when you are kind of keeping track of what you have done rather than planning ahead for what you're going to do. I do this specifically for my health and wellness planner. With my health and wellness planner, I have a vertical style planner in which I am keeping track of what I ate for the day. I'm also keeping track of my current weight, of any workout that I did for that day. So this day I went walking, I did 30 minutes, I did 1.8 miles, and I'm also keeping track of any pain that I have. So I had a headache, it started at 3 p.m. and I, if I take medicine, I will jot that down too. I'm keeping track of my sleep, my routines, all of this lets me know what I did in a particular day. Very rarely am I planning ahead for my health and wellness. For the most part, I am looking at what was already done. And because that's the way that I am using this particular planner, I like to have a lot of space, so I use a vertical style planner for this process. Now, why would I do this process in order to keep track of what has happened in the past? Sometimes if I feel off, if I don't feel well, like if I have a headache, or I have some other type of pain that I'm managing, I will look back and see what happened a particular day. What did I eat? Did I work out? Did I get enough sleep? Did I drink enough water? This kind of helps me manage if I am treating my body well. It also helps if you go to the doctor frequently or if you need to go to the doctor because maybe you aren't feeling well, you can have a better handle on how you felt in a particular day and what could have possibly caused your illness. Now, most people will say that you don't need a planner for this process, and that is exactly true. You could definitely do this exact same thing in a small notebook, keep it in your purse and not have a planner at all. I like to keep it in my planner because I'm planning everything else and it's super convenient to have everything in one book. But if you do decide to use a planner as a tracker, I do usually recommend that it's a horizontal style or a vertical style. They give you a lot of space to write down the different things that you may need to write down. And the fourth way to plan in a planner is to journal. So I have two planners that I use for journaling purposes. The first one is a horizontal style and it is for my reading planner. And this is where I am keeping track of the different things that I am learning. I will write down articles that I read. I will write down um, different books that I have read and I will take all of the highlights from those specific things and add it to a planner. Once again, this is an area where you do not need a planner for this. this is something that you could do in a notebook. You could type it up on your computer. However, I do still like to design. I still like to lay stickers down every now and then. And I love to flip through this planner. It's one of my favorite planners to flip through and look back on all the different things that I have read and reflect on them. I also have a faith planner in which I do the exact same thing. I will write down my prayers. I will write down different things that I have read and I will use Use it to learn scripture and meditate on God's word. If you do decide to use a planner as a journal, I usually recommend the horizontal style, mainly because the horizontal style gives you a bunch of space where you can write down all of your notes, your feelings, or anything else that you may want to put on your pages. I'm a really big fan of using a planner as a journal. It's a great way to relax, put some stickers down, and have a little bit of fun with your planner. So those are my four reasons of why I need a planner and how I use them in order to manage my life. But of course, you may have an additional reason that you are using your planner. If you are like me and you do have different styles of planners for different areas of your life, I would just write that down so that you can keep it fresh on your mind 
throughout the year of why you have decided to use your planning system the way that you have set it up. In the beginning, before I got settled on my planning system, I did write down all of the different things that I wanted from my planner. So I wrote down all of my categories, which I have them at the top here. Like, so I wrote down home, I wrote down health, business, I wrote down every single area of my life, and I wrote down how I wanted to use that planner. If I wanted to use it for my schedule, if I wanted to use it to track another area of my life, like my health and wellness, if I wanted to make a really long list of to-dos for my home or for my business, I wrote that down so that when I was choosing a planner for each particular area of my life, then I knew what style I needed to look for. If you don't have as many areas that you need to plan, then that's fine too. You want to keep it simple, especially if you are just starting. I have been planning for quite some time, which is why I have so many planners. And of course, it's my job because I love to share with you guys the different ways that you can use planners. But if you're brand new to it, I would highly recommend that you start with one and then build from there. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have any additional ways that you may use a planner to kind of stay on top of your life and manage everything, put it in the comments below. I would love to hear your different reasons and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.